Hey guys and welcome to this quick tip in our digital classroom series made possible by Bank UN Rogue. Now this time it's all about one thing that I absolutely hate in images and you can already see it here, moiré. Now what is moiré? Well it's actually if you have a fine uh, pattern like this suit he's wearing, this is from a recent wedding, you can actually see this, uh, this nasty pattern of waves and colors. You probably know it from the old fashioned TVs and if you're not that old, trust me, it was annoying. So how do we get this off? Because this is something I can deliver to my client of course. Now, there are many different approaches, but one of the most easiest actually is just using the adjustment brush in Adobe Camera Raw or Lightroom. So you go to the adjustment brush and there's actually an option here that's called Moiré Reduction. Now I have it set on 57, so that's okay. And we just paint over and as by magic, it disappears. Now I wouldn't advise you guys to just put it on 100%, just go lower and let's say to 16% and just slowly build it. Oh sorry, I have to take that one down of course. And just slowly build it up until you don't see it anymore. Okay, so this is in Adobe Camera Raw. Is there also an option to do it when you have something that isn't shot in RAW, for example a JPEG? Yes there is. So let's go into Photoshop very quickly and show you what you can do. Okay, I now have the same image, let's say this is from a scanner or whatever source and it's not a raw file. So I'm now at 200%, so how do I take it out in Photoshop? This is actually incredibly simple. In the newest versions of Photoshop, there's been an option called Filter, Camera Raw Filter. And the only thing you now have to do is activate that filter. And the only thing you now have to do is activate that filter. And here you go, go to 200%, go to the adjustment brush. And put your more air, it's already on 51%, so that's great. And just paint over it and just press OK. And there we go. Now, if you don't like the effect that much and you say, you know what, I also want to change some of the coloring because it's a little bit brighter, that's no problem, of course. You can, of course, use a different layer and use a layer mask, or you can actually do it like this. Go to your brush choose color mode, select a color that you like, for example here, and just paint over the areas where you don't like the color. There you go. Make sure that your brush is on color mode, and there you go. Now I'm very sloppy at the moment, as you can see here, but you know the idea, right? So this is a very, very simple and quick way to get rid of moiré without doing all the layer stuff and masking and whatever. This is just a very, very simple fix. And you know, when you do weddings, you actually have to work fast. Oh, and by the way, if you wonder where does Moray come from? Very, very simple. If you use a camera without an anti-aliasing filter, like in my example, the A7R2, there is no filter that actually blurs the image slightly. So you can get those patterns. If you use a camera that has an anti-aliasing filter, the images will come out a little bit softer, so you have to sharpen them in your RAW converter, but you don't have the effect of moiré that much. So, that's the tip for today. I hope you like it. If you like it, please share this tip with other guys. Leave comments below, smash that like button, and of course, subscribe to our channel. Thank you so very much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>